Barefoot running is not for everyone. Uh, from all of the literature that we've read, all of the studies that we've looked at, about only 10% of the population should be considering barefoot running full time. The way that we implement it into our practice with our runners is that on recovery days or on speed work days, we allow them to work their barefoot technology into their running exercise economy. We allow them to do their speed work in a barefoot or a minimalist shoe. We allow them to train on true court or grass surfaces. The, the fad of this barefoot running phenomenon that's sweeping the country is, is kind of laid at the feet of an author who wrote a book called Born to Run. It chronicles um, the Tarahumara Indians down in Mexico that are barefoot uh, ultra marathoners, 100 milers. Uh, the problem with this is that our surface in North America is flat, it's paved. It's that way for cars, not for running. So when you're wearing a shoe that has little to no support and you're running on a surface that is unforgiving, you're going to have a problem in your foot or your ankle. Thank you.